I think this issue and like the sit-in is inherently polarizing. Um, and that's what the question is, whose side? And that's kind of in the whole national divestment movement. A lot of schools are doing sit-ins or something of the like now. And this is kind of the language that we're all using. Whose side are you on? Um, and I think that reflects that we're at a point in our campaign where not that we're necessarily trying to polarize. Um, and of course, we want this to be accessible to as many people as possible. And we want everyone to kind of understand where we're coming from. Um, and I think it is, when you really get down to it, an agreeable issue. But I'm sure we can debate about the tactic. Um, but. It's kind of polarizing. We're really trying to put President Fitz in a spot where he can no longer remain neutral. Um, we're saying, whose side are you on? And by him refusing to take a stance, we believe that he's siding with the fossil fuel industry and not with students. Uh, at, at this point, I'm, I'm, as all of you, I'm deeply, deeply concerned about issues of climate change and sustainability. And I am committed to the, the university um, really actively confronting those problems in a lot of different ways. But in terms of the specific issue of divestment um, at this point, uh, the university, my predecessor, uh, um, Scott took a position at this point, um, you know, it's just in the middle of discussion. Essentially every time we ask him, Michael Fitz, how do you feel about fossil fuel divestment? Like, can you personally give us your stance? He goes, well, my personal opinion is the board hasn't discussed this yet. Um, and so, and then he also kind of disempowered himself a little bit. And Michael Fitz is a board member. Um, he's also the president of the university, obviously, so he has a lot of power within the board. But he's saying that he can't commit to bringing it up formally because he doesn't think he has the power and et cetera. Um, so that's the response we just got. We feel that that is inadequate, um, given the urgency of the problem of the climate crisis and given the urgency that students are demanding um, sitting in. So now we're deciding on our next steps.